Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm here for another of those videos where I show you the pens that I got in the previous month. So this will be pens from October 2020 and uh, I will show you the pens that I got and just that. Uh, there will be no no writing samples, but I can maybe show some other pens that relate with the pens that I got. So, I have to say that this month uh, I got some six pens for me and I also got five pens on loan. So, I will show you all these 11 pens that I got, because I got them, but they are not all for me to keep. So, let's start. Let's try not to make this too long, but I always try to do that and I never accomplish. So, first pen that I have to show you is this. And this is the Vingsung uh, 670 in yellow. So this is a pen, this is another, you see it has this, the, this medallion on the top of the cap, cap bands, black end of the cap, sorry, black end of the cap, black end of the, black end of the cap, black end of the barrel. It, it has a yellow color, which is nice because I collect yellow, yellow pens. It has the Vingsung nib, these kind of nibs that are usually quite good cartridge converter pen and this is one of those pens that in my opinion try to mimic the feel of a Parker dual fold. Uh, it is the size of a Parker Centennial dual fold and maybe it is time to show one. I will not say this is the most the current version at least in respect of the cap bands. I think the cap bands are more similar to the older model than to the more recent models. One other pen that is similar, this is a Parker Centennial Dufold, marble blue, very beautiful with this beautiful arrow nib. And this is a, a previous version. I have here also a Moonman uh, 600S which is also one variation of a Parker Centennial Dufold, in my opinion. It has a, a different color uh, and it has two cap rings of the same size which uh, correspond to a more recent version. And then we have the Jinhao Centennial. This is a very beautiful finish and this pen has a food and nib. This one is more similar with the current version of the Parker Centennial Fold, but as you can see, these pens all share the same kind of DNA, I would say. So this is a, a pen inspired on those, but I would not say it is really a copy. But I like the size of these pens, I like how these pens are. Um, I, I have to say that when I, lo I really love a pen, I usually like the pen and I like to have some copies of that pen. One example of this is the Parker 45. I love Parker 45s and I get all the, the copies of that pen. So something similar happens with the Parker Centennial Dufold. I love the pen, I love the size. So when I find similar stuff to put next to it, I usually go for, for it because I just like the model and I get them, but I also get the original ones when I can afford them. Now, the next pen, I will show them together. This is uh, a platinum or two platinum pens. These are Japanese pens, pocket pens, that they are quite short, as you may see. But not too short, you cannot hold them, but they tend to be quite short. But then you can put the cap uh, posted and it gets a full-sized pen or even bigger than a full-sized pen. And 
when you cap them they will stay in a regular size they are of the same size and just let me show you it's easier like this to show how much bigger it becomes when it is posted so they are meant to be posted there are lots of variations of this pen this one has an engraving it is signed or something like that I think I think you can see that my light there failed so I will just replace the, the light okay I've got a new a new light or a freshly I hope charged light to replace the, the other one that went out of power so I have to charge them and I was showing you these pens these are quite interesting I already have some pocket pens and here it is another platinum quite similar there is they have different clips and also the the shape of the nib and this thing how they present themselves so this one is with this cap and this one is this with this cap this is the one that I previously owned and now we will go to the next Japanese pen that I got which is this pilot this is a pilot pocket pen I think this model was called short and it is the same kind of concept and apparently it has a very short barrel and a very big cap but this is kind of an illusion because let me show you another pilot pen it seems this one has even a smaller barrel but when you uncap them you will see that this was fake so a part that seems the cap is actually a part of the barrel and so the cap is here then you can post it and you have a big pen and you have this let me show it to you like this so this pen has a barrel that mimics the cap to fall into the same kind of concept but it's a little different another interesting thing about this pen is that this is a telescopic section so when you uncap it when you pull it it will pull the section out and then you uncap it so the section of this pen actually extends and the pen becomes even bigger so this is another way of having a pocket pen and it is interesting because it apparently is the exact it's the exact same kind of concept but it has a little change now we go for one of the I would say one of the most special pens that I have which is this one and this is the Sailor King of Pen and you can see that this pen is not a pocket pen it's a big pen this is a, a, a sailor the color of this one is called dark green champagne and not champagne because of the color of the the beverage it's because of the color of the glass bottles which is a translucent green not that easy to show here and but if we see the cap like this I think you can see how transparent it is and it has this big 21 carat nib it is a beautiful pen really really beautiful uh, it's really nice and it is very expensive this pen as far as I understand it was um, a, a special edition made between Sailor and Wancher and so here it is big pen beautiful one not cheap I have just for a, a funny comparison I have here the Sailor 1911 Junior which is now called the Sailor Compass and you can see this is also a transparent green but not as dark and you can see this is a much much smaller pen and when we uncap them we have in this one a very humble clip uh, nib 
you can see that they are very different in size. I also have here, just to show, a uh, Sailor 1911 large and you'll see it's not much that much smaller than the King of Pen, but the nib is smaller. It, this one also is a, a 23 karat gold nib. And finally, just for comparison, a pen that has to be compared with this one is this. This is the Mont Blanc 149, there. The logo and you'll see both pens are big with big nibs, same kind of design, although the filling system is different and you can see two very nice pens with big nibs. I think this is gorgeous. Okay, not this one, the Mont Blanc goes away, the Sailor stays and these go away also. And we go now to the last pen that I got for myself. I bought all these pens. And it is this one. This is the Enso XS Minimalist. This is a copper limited edition. It is not tarnished or not very tarnished yet, but it will become uh, oxidized. It is a pen made of copper, solid copper, the clip is removable and it caps and, unca and posts uh, by friction fit and that friction is helped with a, a rubber o-ring. So it has a Bok number 5 nib, small nib there, very simple cartridge only pen and it is really, really a small pocket pen and it posts like this the same way. So you have a very small pen that becomes full size but when closed it's quite small and it has, where is it? And so engraved there on the bottom of the barrel. So this is the Enso. This reminds me a pen that I got the previous month, that was the Sean Design, the Pocket 6 Copper, and it is a pen of, the similar, of a similar length. You can see now this is more oxidized than that one, this is still very shiny, but when we uncap, this one is much uh, thicker, and when we uncap both of them, you will see that this one has a big number 6 nib and that one has a smaller number 5 nib. But when we talk about the Enso XS Minimalist and we try to compare with something else, I think the better or the best comparison is the Caveco Lilliput that also has a optional clip and also made of copper and you can see these are three different stages of patina on copper. This one is really oxidized and this one has a uh, unscrews. Number five nib also, also only cartridge filler but it has a bigger difference because you have a screw cap to uncap the pen and also screw cap to post the pen. They are roughly of the same size. The differences are, as I told you, the screw cap for posting and for capping and that one is faceted and the other one is not. The end so is just a small it makes this popping sound when you unpost it, it's very nice. Uh, so this is just a little bit uh, bigger than the Caveco Lilliput. Now, we will go to the other pens, the other six pens, that, five pens, sorry, that are not mine. Uh, I have them on loan because I try to upload very frequently now I'm uploading 
day in day out i hope uh, starting uh, starting uh, 2021 i will uh, reduce a little bit the frequency because i think this gets quite hard and i am afraid of not having enough material for more videos so i wanted more pens for more reviews and because my father has a couple of pens mo most of them he doesn't use them so i asked him five of his pens and he landed them to me so i will make these reviews and then i will return the pens to him some of them need some care so i will take care of that and one of the examples is this one and what is this this is a pelican you cannot see because it's black on black this is a pelican m 150 in black the ballpoint and the fountain pen we don't want the ballpoint but fountain pen is here the nice logo with two baby pelicans on the nest and everything else is pelican and this is the the m150 it has a extra fine nib it was never used and the uh, piston mechanism was stuck i had to grease it up and now it it is fine i didn't think the pen yet but i will do it because i have the pens and i have permission to use them this pen is very very similar to the pelican m 100 and why because they are actually the same but the pelican m100 had uh, silver trim or eventually in this one black trim and the other ones had gold trim the 150 so the 150 and 100 are almost the same pen you won't notice many differences the, in the way they, they are made. So, just interesting, and it will be interesting just to see the nib, because this one that I already reviewed has a broad nib, and this one has an extra fine nib. And this will be an interesting one, not very different from this, but it will give us another video, I guess. Other pen that I have here, and this one I don't have anything special to compare with, is, when you see this, what is this? This is a Rotring pen, and I love Rotring. How does this open? Doing this on camera is much harder than out of camera. Okay, it is upside down. And here I have a Rotring. It is quite dirty. I have a Rotring... 400, which has this silver, shiny, aluminium metal. This one was used, it is dirty, so it was put in the box with ink in it, maybe a full cartridge, cartridge and it may have dried out, so I think I'll have some work here, but it is just a very simple, typical rotting pen. I don't have really anything to compare with this one, although I think this is quite typical of Rotring, but I'm showing other pens that are similar to the ones that I'm showing. To this one, I'm not, I don't think I have anything to show that may be useful. I have other Rotring pens, but not directly related. Then, this box. No, ID, no identification, but when you, hope, when you open it, it says there Targa by Schiffer. And it has a rollerball and a ballpoint and a fountain pen. And it is the fountain pen that we want to see. This, is, this one is still marked, and this is a gold plated Targa. 1005 this is the number of the model Schiffer had numbers for all the models which is quite nice for us to identify them it has the typical Schiffer nib and I think this is quite interesting and I will make some videos on the Targa pens I have another Targa pen which this is in, on my collection this is a similar version this is a stainless steel and 
this is um, the I, I didn't write down the, the the number of this model, but it is similar to it's it's a very similar pen. In fact, I don't I don't remember the number of the model. Sorry, but quite similar, but stainless steel. One pen that I find similar to the Targa is, at least in my opinion, is the Parker 25. Okay, the nib has nothing in common, but the rest of the pen, the flat and the, the simplicity, the cartridge converter, it reminds me of that same pen. Then, we have another Schiffer, and this one is also a Targa, but you may see that this Targa is a little bit different because it is a slim pen with a slimmer cartridge. This is called the uh, Schiffer Slimline, Targa Slimline, and I have a Schiffer Targa, very similar to this one, also with black lacquer, that I will show later. And this one that is from my father is much thinner, and I think you can see the, it. And if I uncap them, I'll show the nibs. This one is really smaller. So I think this is quite nice. The, the, they are interesting pens. The, 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 cartridge, the cartridge or the converter for this one is different because the cartridge on this one will not fit on this slimmer pen. And I also think that this Schiffer Slimline remind me in style to, of the Lamy CP1. Almost the same kind of size, very similar. I want to buy one of these, but a slim version, but in stainless steel. I really wanted to have one of these in my, in my collection for myself. I need to, to get one. And finally, the last pen that I have to show you is this one. This is a Schiffer Triumph Imperial Gold Plated. The number is 2797, name, name of the bottle, it is, gold, it is gold plated, the nib is made of steel but also gold plated, it has ink dried there, this pen also needs some care, I will clean it and give it back clean and ready to use. This pen reminds me of one I have, but I think mine is nicer because it's, it's much heavier. And mine is a Schiffer Legacy 1. I showed this pen in some videos, I guess, before. And I have one problem because I called it a Schiffer Legacy 2. But when I was researching the information for this video, I found out that this is the Schiffer Legacy one. This one has a gold nib, this one has a gold plated nib, although the kind of shape is the same. But Schiffer pens are nice pens and I don't have many reviews of them. And I think there is a lack in my collection, but I guess I will go over it. So this month was quite nice. These ones are mine, these ones are, are to give to return. But overall, I think there will be some nice stuff to show here in the channel. And some for me to enjoy for a long time because they are mine. So this is all I had to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. These were the pens that I got this month. Actually, it's like the previous month, but because the month is almost over, these are the pens that I got. And soon I will uh, uh, make and then post a video of the pens that I have with ink for the month of November. So these will be very soon that I will make them and we will meet again 
in the next video. I don't, I don't know if it's that one or if there is another one in the middle, but maybe it's the next one depends for November. I hope you liked it. Leave your comments on the, on the comment section below and I hope to see you soon here on my channel. Bye!